And now, Amanda Perez Ramirez first joined the Family and Child Education, or FACE program, at Chief Leshy School, located in Paula, Washington, in 2013. Amanda participated in home visits with her son, Jose. A year later, she transitioned into center-based FACE classes. This is where she began her journey, <coughs> excuse me, toward obtaining her GED. Her determination, along with the invaluable support and encouragement from family, FACE teachers, and classmates, led her to obtain both a GED and college credits. Amanda is now on the path to earning an associate's degree. She continues to inspire and be inspired through the FACE program at Chief Leshy School. Please welcome Amanda to the stage, Amanda Perez Ramirez. I only plan to come here to get my GED and, you know, people, you know, opened my eyes to like, there's more for, that I could do and, and they really uh, showed me that I, that I can do those things and I can accomplish those things and just I, I want to go further with that. Just because too for myself, but also so my children, you know, want to, want to do that for themselves too. Good morning. I want to start by thanking the National Center for Families Learning for inviting me to speak here today to you. I am so proud and honored to be here representing the FACE program, Chief Leshy Schools, my tribe, and my family. My name is Amanda Perez Ramirez, and I'm 38 years old. I am married to a wonderful man, Jose Perez Ramirez, and we have six beautiful children. Ramon, <clears throat> excuse me, Ramon 15, Nayeli 13, Shaikoba 11, Jose 8, Victor 6, and Ismael 3. I am half native and half Mexican. I'm a member of the Piaut tribe located in Washington state, as were my mother, Roberta Capomen Ochoa, and my grandmother, Elsie McLeod. I'm also a descendant of the Quinault tribe located on the coast of Washington state as was my grandfather, Robert Capoman. My father, Raul Gonzalez Ochoa, was from Tamaulipas, Tampico, Mexico, as were my grandparents, Cristina Gonzalez and Pedro Ochoa. All of my family members I have just spoken about have passed on to be with our creator. I would like to start, I would like to begin my story with my childhood. I am the youngest of five, when I was three years old, my mother left us with our father. My mother was a loving and caring mother, but she had been through a lot of traumatic things from a small child into adulthood. As an adult, she suffered from alcoholism, anxiety, and depression. My father raised me and my sister as a single father. He was loving, caring, and the best father anyone could want or have. My father is really special to me. He provided us with so much, even though he had so little. Sadly, he passed away when I was nine. <clears throat> After my father passed, I moved in with family members, which was where things in my life took a downward turn. My family members didn't participate in or support my education. When I started the, my ninth grade year of high school, I was always late because we lived out of district, and it was hard to get my cousin up to take us. I had too many absences, and the school was going to expel me for being truant. I told my cousin I could attend an alternative school in the evening, but that only lasted a couple months, because once again, I was unable to go due to not having a ride. My cousin decided to send me to a new school that had just opened, Chief Leshy, but that didn't even last a semester, because I had to watch her baby in the evening so she could go to bingo, and I was too tired to get up for school. These are only a couple of factors that contributed to me not finishing high school. I felt like my family only thought of me as their maid and babysitter. That and my family received SSI checks from my dad's passing. Even so, I still love and care about my family, and I'm grateful that they took me into their home. Just like my mother, I have been through some tough things from early childhood into my adulthood. 
It makes me sad to say, but during this time, I also experienced abuse. Now I would like to share with you a little bit about my life as an adult. I have been married twice. My first marriage was a life learning lesson. My first three children came from that seven year marriage. And during that time, I cut a lot of family out of my life and became withdrawn because of my husband. I divorced this man for many reasons. Once I did, I felt a heaviness had been lifted off of me. I felt free. However, being in that relationship gave me a lot of anxiety that I carry with me to this day. About two years later, I met my now best friend and husband, Jose Perez Ramirez. He is a loving, caring, understanding, supportive father and husband. We have been together going on 10 years and he has been one of my biggest supporters of my education. I will forever be thankful for every day that he has shown and given me love, support, and encouragement. I have also found support and encouragement through the FACE program. In September 2013, I was referred to the FACE program by the front office at Chief Leshai Schools. And I was interested in what the program could offer me and my son, Jose. He and I joined the home base FACE program and we had home visits with the FACE staff. I currently have home visits with my two younger sons, Victor and Ismael. Before FACE, I never read to my older children when they were younger. That was one thing that I started with my younger children. And I can see that reading to and with my children at an early age can help them academically in school and they become better readers and also enjoy the stories we share. From the home visits, I learned new and exciting ways to teach and engage my children in learning. In 2014, a year after getting involved with the FACE program, I started attending the center-based FACE classes. My son, Jose, started in the FACE preschool class and I attended the FACE adult class. The best part was that I could spend time with my child during packed our parent time and circle time, and I could have lunch with all my children. For the next year and a half, I spent time preparing myself for the GED, but I didn't feel I was getting that far until Miss Banks took over as the adult class teacher. I was honestly going, <clears throat> excuse me, going to withdraw from the FACE class, but Miss Banks started her search for programs that could help me further my academic skills. She found that I could attend Grace Harbor College without a high school diploma or GED. I was one of the first students to attend Grace Harbor College with financial support from my tribe. Though I could have received my high school diploma when I graduated from Grace Harbor, I wanted to complete the GED since I had already started. As I was working towards my GED, I told one of my classmates that I felt like I was moving at snail speed. She replied back, but you are still moving. That is what I also love about the FACE program. All the adults are so supportive of each other. I took all four GED tests and passed all four, and I'm happy to say that I now have my GED and 32 college credits. Thank you. I am now in the 100 and 200 level classes and on my way to completing my associate's degree. From the FACE program, I have learned many new skills. I have been reintroduced to our tribe's language, the Tushutsi language, and I was able to take a home buying class. As a result of the home buying class, my husband and I purchased our first home, and this past June 30th marked two years since we've been in our home. I am truly grateful that I have met Miss Jacqueline Banks and even happier that I continued attending the FACE classes. This will be my fifth year with the program and I hope in a couple years I will be able to finish my associate's degree and be able to work within my community. I am truly grateful for the existence of the FACE program. It helped me become a better person and has also made my family better as a whole. 
and I hope that we can continue to have this program for generations to come. I would like to thank my FACE program educators, Ms. Shannon Begay, Ms. Jacqueline Banks, Ms. Mary Galarza, Ms. Michelle Myers, Ms. Angel Bean, and Ms. Catherine Court Yates. <clears throat> Each of these educators has helped me and continues to help me and my family on our journey to a better future. I would also like to give a big thank you to NCFL for making it possible to have my two oldest children with me today. It means a lot to me and my family for inviting me here today to share my story. I hope I can be an inspiration for others to never give up, never think you're too old to learn because we continue to learn every day. And I'd also like to say happy 30th anniversary to Sharon Darling and the National Center for Families Learning. I'm grateful for your continued support of FACE and the Bureau of Indian Education and Sue Bennett for her leadership. Thank you for helping so many families and communities across the nation. Thank you.